the internet. Uh, get myself more comfortable here. Vulnerability. So you think about, you know, um, being a creative person has serious highs and lows. Um, and I spent a lot of time alone. Like a lot, a lot of my time is, is on my own. I feel like a sausage right now. And um, being silent is not healthy, right? I have my frustrations naturally. And if this is, if this project, you know, history and propaganda or any of this art, right, these big pieces um, that take months and months and months to, to finish. And uh, you're always see searching for, for appreciation and Excuse me. And just to be appreciated by someone. And, you know, um, I've accomplished a lot. You know, I count my blessings and think about how, uh, you know, a lot of my shit is still together. That, um, Effectively, I'm, I'm off scot-free. I don't have cops at my door for any charges, you know. Got thrown out in all effectivity. I'll no, never have to consider the charge again. Because, well, uh, just like everything else uh, in the world at this moment, the legal system in Canada is completely fucked up. It's completely, utterly in disarray on purpose. You know, and um, one of the things that stops people from wanting to get into relationships, or at least a lot of men with like this, the MGTOW thing, which is frankly, it's outdated now, uh, considering how quickly the world turns around. And, you know, again, how I, my, my feelings on, on feminism being dead, and I want to hold a funeral for it, the same with transgenderism. And, you know, just the special treatment of the gay community. I want to hold a funeral for that, too. Let's just, let's move on from this fetishism. That's kind of part of the point, you know, and I'm very hard on that, on that community for, obviously, for some of my, my own experiences, but that's subjective to a singular person. It's not, well, singular um, instances and individuals, it's not necessarily uh, to paint them all with the same brush. It's completely unfair to do that. Um, you know, I, I asked my, myself this question today and, you know, since I don't take part in, in, in dating applications anymore, um, I'm more likely to find a woman in my everyday life. You know, uh, but my, you know, I, I go into the, the ponds out here, uh, which is basically my backyard. And I meet women there. And, you know, some of them are very nice to me. And I kick myself because I didn't, I didn't talk to one more, you know. And I'm thinking to myself, you know, when's the next time that, I'm going to find a woman to love me. 
and that stresses me out you know like it, it gets me down too and like i've said in, in shorts before um I don't know. We'll stop there. Just lost my train of thought. And what what's prompting this is that, well, my sister's getting married. And there's pressure on me, naturally, to, to find another job. But, you know, this is part of the, part of the stress of being a creative person. Is that, uh, especially with all this, this support of, of other, other people, right? Other interests, other minorities. Um... You know, when's it going to be my turn? When, when am I going to be validated uh, beyond my, the validation I give to myself? When am I going to be recognized for all of my efforts? You know, being enough uh, doesn't feel like being enough anymore. And, you know, this is, this is why I, I consider vulnerability to be a strength, right? You have to be vulnerable in a relationship for any of it to work. And uh, so seeing, so no, being, you know, the, all of this, this lead up to my sister's wedding and then uh, also seeing, well, Bezos, right? Congratulations, Jeff, on your new relationship and the fact that you made it 25 years with your, your ex-wife. You know, and I'm, I'm always just looking up uh, marriage statistics uh, and the length. And I'm also considering the fact that my parents split after. Well, they got married in 1970, well, 1970, 1979, 1980, somewhere around there. Uh, when my eldest sister was born. So, you know, that's 40 years, basically. 45, almost, you know, almost the entirety of their lives. And Bezos' marriage got to 25 years. And the average, average split, it seems uh, now, is 12 years, believe it or not. You know, people that get married young or even in their their early 30s they don't they don't it doesn't last very long um the the risk of divorce drops off after the middle 30s i'll probably i'll do some i'll probably do a full length video on this for history of propaganda having to deal with and including uh, gay marriages and expanding upon you know because i've mentioned this before uh domestic violence and you know the the, the pressures involved uh and and how how it's it's some things are different but not everything is different and you know i sit here after being single for so many years you know chasing after uh a skill a dream uh just something to to have a task and a purpose just just something to live for um and uh, it still doesn't feel like I've accomplished anything after all this time. You know, as if um, everything I do doesn't matter to the world at large. That's how I feel about it. It's just sometimes I feel so small. In the face of all my defeats, and it doesn't matter how many emails I get for new jobs or whatever, because of my, my position at the time, 
and that I can't get things fixed. Um, that like the whole world is, is against me. Because that's how it feels to be to be a creative person. And the older you get, you know, I accept, I accept the world as it is and that there's a lot of things I can't control. But nonetheless, it doesn't negate that, that itch and that feeling of, you know, when am I going to find a woman that loves me again? And am I gonna am I gonna recognize it when it happens? And that's the hardest shit to deal with. Like I love my family, I love my dog. I love my art. You know. I love my mountain bike, I love I love my car. Cars actually. I love that I'm not on the street or in jail right now. Uh, I love the friends that I have, even though I don't see them very often. You know, very, very independent people. But again, this, this is very vulnerable. Right? When am I going to find another woman to love me? And will I see it for what it is when it happens? <laughs>